Let's talk about Irma here, uh, messing up everybody's travel plans. Yeah, the people still do get up in Florida and the Caribbean in September and October. I know it's hurricane season, mm -hmm. but the prices are cheaper. True. So you know? what do you do if you had a vacation planned? And let's say you can't get down there to, to the where your hotel was. Right. What do you do about the hotel? What if you can't get your flights together? We know that some airlines are already <clears throat> waiving that for you. But what if you were going on a cruise? Are you just out of luck? Well, he and knows. did you get that travel insurance? Because a lot of people, they see it and they don't get it. I rarely get yeah, it. Yeah, I don't get it. Here's Mark Murphy, and we don't get it. <laughs> we don't get it. Uh, travel expert here. So real quickly here, yeah. uh, do you mind talking about Fort Lauderdale, can I bring that up? Yeah, of course. <laughs> do you have a home in Fort Lauderdale? I do, and it's on the water down there, and so we're, we're anxiously awaiting to see what happens. But is it, did you board up? No, because we have hurricane windows. And you've already had them come down. No, the, the windows, the glass themselves. Oh! Yeah, they resist up to like 150 mile an hour You winds. don't have those metal shutters that no, come No, that's down? if you don't have the hurricane windows, then uh -huh. you get the metal shutters, and then you're then you're okay with that. Okay, best of luck yeah. with that. No, we'll keep fingers crossed. Okay, so let's say uh, we're going to start off here with travel insurance, because mm -hmm. let's face it, I'm sure a lot of people, because it's extra money, so I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, me too. But, um, El cheapos. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> well. At least we know so far some airlines that are offering yeah, so waivers. When you, so when you have an event like this, the airlines are going to go ahead and waive change fees, and they're going to allow you to rebook, in many cases, without a fair difference. And so they're telling you to do that. I just did that. I was scheduled to go down to Fort Lauderdale on Saturday. I just changed my flight, and now I'm going out Sunday. Sunday night and hoping for the best. And if it's still a problem, they'll probably open it to that. And I can change it again. But the key is you have to rebook it within a certain time frame. That is the key. And when it comes to insurance, I'm sure when you book it, a lot of people book their you know yep. vacations months in advance. You can't if you know Irma's coming. Okay, let me hurry up and get yeah, insurance. Yeah, forget it. You're done. That's not. Yeah, you're not you're not allowed to book to buy that travel insurance mm -hmm. when you know there's a pending storm coming in. You have to have done it beforehand. Otherwise, it's not insurance. Okay, right? let's forget Irma right now. Yeah, the heck with you're Irma. a travel expert. When do you get insurance? I play one on television. <laughs> Good. And you do it well. Uh, do you ever get airline insurance? Sometimes it depends. Like if I'm traveling internationally, in my case, since I travel for a living, I have a policy that covers me every time I travel. So it's a professional, you know, traveler insurance. What about everyday people? So everyday, everyday people, you have to look at what you're doing and what the risk factor is. So if you're going down to Florida and it's a $200 flight, I don't bother. No. Right? I want to insure the overall trip, especially if I'm going somewhere internationally, because then you might have medical coverage and other things that come into play Explain. should something happen. Explain overall trip. So an overall trip, let's say you're going to Panama and you're going to be down there for a week and mm -hmm. you're staying in a resort and you've got the whole package and you're paying $3,000 or $4,000. Insurance. Insurance. That, insure that trip. Make sure you have medical coverage because if something goes awry down there, your medical insurance up here is not going to cover that in most cases. Do you get insurance on hotels? Um, not necessarily and here's why. Because if you're buying a um, hotel stay and most hotels will have a policy that says you can cancel up to 24 hours to 72 hours in advance of your arrival. So as long as you have that window, you yeah. can cancel right up until. You okay. can't do that with an airline ticket and other things. Cruise ships are scattering out of yep. the way of Irma. Yeah, and that's the beauty of cruise lines. They can basically say, you know what? Uh, yeah, we're not going to the uh, Western Caribbean, uh, Eastern Caribbean. We're going to go to the Western. We're going to go to Cozumel, for instance. But what they're doing, and I really enjoy seeing this, the cruise lines are proactively saying, we're going to cancel those sailings. We're going to give you a full refund for that sailing. And by the way, in the case of Royal Caribbean, we're going to give you a 25% credit on a future sailing. Norwegian Cruise Line, you're going to get a 50% credit on a future sailing and I think that that's a very good um, approach to the market because it's not their fault there's a hurricane coming and they have no. to cancel okay that's true okay so then when it going back to the um, airlines yeah what if let's say you're just kind of near that area you're not necessarily where the waiver is but you want to cancel you're out of luck so if it's if it's not impacting mm. your uh, or, or, uh, origination city or your sense. destination city you're out of luck and the same holds true with travel insurance if it's not impacting your point of departure or your point of arrival, in most cases, you're not gonna be able to cancel that unless you have cancel any time, like Allianz uh, Travel Insurance has an, uh, cancel any time is what they call it. Other ones like Travel Guard, it's cancel for any reason. And these are all insurance companies that in many cases you would get advice from a travel agent mm -hmm. as to what to buy. Should you buy cancel for any reason? Well, it depends on your personal circumstance. That will give you 80% in most cases of your payment back. They keep 20%, but you get 80% back. Uh, there's a live look. Uh, we don't know which island this is, but it is the Virgin Islands. Uh, looking back at a smaller island there. Uh, St. Martin, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's, coming, it's approaching right now in St. Martin. Uh, yeah. The eye is directly over mm -hmm. Marigot. Yeah. On the French side of St. Martin. 
I mean, they have a direct hit, and so many Philadelphians fly to the Caribbean and land at Phillipsburg and St. Martin. Yeah. Uh, go back to the hotels just real quickly here. Yeah. Um, On the prepay. If, yeah, sometimes you prepay yeah, and, and they want that, you know, the money in advance. Right. Can you get out of that? Well, so what's happening is a lot of hotels are going to be flexible and you have to deal with the individual hotel property. Mm -hmm. And again, if it was booked by a travel agent, they've got leverage with that hotel if they sell multiple people a year to that hotel. You as an individual has never been there. You don't have any status with them. You know, it's, it's, it's less likely, but they will go ahead and step up and do things to like credit you so you can take a future trip. They're, in most cases, they're not just going to take your money and say you got to come anyway in the middle of a hurricane. Mark, one last thing here yep. real quickly. If you... If you book a hotel through like hotels.com or you book yeah. a flight through Orbitz, mm -hmm. is that harder to get out of? Well, in the case, no, because basically it's a pass through to the airlines, it's a pass through to the hotel. Okay. You're going to then deal with the individual hotel. You're, not, you're never going to talk to somebody at hotels.com or Expedia about no. this. You're going to call that, that individual property and say, hey, I'm scheduled to arrive on September, September 9th. I'm staying until September 14th. There's a hurricane warning. I can't even get down there. There's, you can't even get bottled water right now from basically the Keys all the way up through Jeez. Palm Beach. Uh, everyone's going a little crazy. I mean, yeah. if, if you, you can't get bottled water, folks, and you're, down, <laughs> you're going to Florida, just fill up. Use your tap. Yeah. You yeah, don't have to go yeah. get bottled water. You can just fill it up right now in your tap. But they don't treat you differently because I found when I use those third party sites, they say, well, you didn't book with us directly, ma'am. I've got that. You have to go to that website and figure it orbits. out. Go to Orbitz. That's no, what you, I've been told. you will get that in some cases, but that's usually based on the category of room. So they'll put you in a room that's not so great, mm -hmm. technically, because they're not making as much money and they're going to reward okay. the guys that book direct at a higher level. You're looking good, man. Your Thanks, voice brother. sounds good. He's been dealing with throat cancer. Feeling good? Feeling good. I'm getting there, you know? It's it's, yeah. it's a climb out. So, yeah. but uh, feeling good. Good We've to see you, man. Thank you. you. Appreciate it. That's for it. sure.